Just taking off here. Dad texted me that he's pulling a backwards calf, so hopefully that goes well. Hopefully it's a smaller than usual calf. Is it alive? A little bit. Yep. Good morning. When you when you come out and there's two back feet sticking out of a cow, you know you, especially a heifer. So I don't know if you guys know this, but every calf in the cow while she's pregnant is in their back feet towards the back. And then right before she calves, that calf is supposed to flip completely over. So it's front feet and head coming out first. And sometimes it's because the calf is too big and it can't do that flip inside. This is a pretty big calf anyway. That's why they have them backwards sometimes they're not able to flip that calf. There's a lot worse things. Both feet were sticking out so I could get a hold of them. I was clear to the end and I couldn't do it anymore. The umbilical cord had severed, but its head was still inside the mom. So I was worried that it, I needed to hurry, but I was out of puller. So then I just pulled it by hand the rest of the way and it slipped out and it started breathing. We like to use this Orphan No More powder, especially if we pull one. Well, if we don't pull one, they get right to licking it, but mineral. just a mineral, a distinct mineral that the cows can't help themselves but lick, which causes them to lick the calf, and then they're like, oh, hey, by the way, this is my calf, so I'll keep licking it. So we like to spread a little of that over the top after we pull one. Flavoring. Head to the next barn and see what's going on. Dad says he bets there's two or three new calves in there. We got a really big day, really big. We're moving a bunch of pairs out of here. We got to work on two barns. They got dirty. We got to fashion a little calf thing over at the place we're bringing pairs to. And we're calving, pulling calves. It's going to be a long one, but so far so good. Bull. Looks like we got at least two new. 070. It's a heifer. We got some treacherous ice to cross here. Hey! 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 seven pair loaded up and there's five over there already so we can bring quite a few more right now I got to deal with a skunk over here that got lead poisoning the other day we're killing three birds with one stone and I guess one skunk with some lead we're gonna fashion up a little calf shelter we got some bedding we got this panel and dad's gonna be bringing those pairs at the same time I tell you what, we're feeling pretty excited. It's kind of springtime right now. Things are warming up, things are melting. Yesterday it was almost 50 degrees. Yeah, that just makes you feel good. Don't have to worry about calves getting cold. And a little sunshine never hurt nobody. out of bounds you gotta get back in the playing field please thank you come on that 
that's it. That's it. At least it's a pair. A good pair. There you go, honey. Whoop. Whoop. All right. We're going to fill this old garage. perfect for a bunch of calves tomorrow apparently we're supposed to you know with these warmer weathers we don't get snow anymore i guess we're getting really cold rain and so i didn't realize this roof was that bad but if they stay on this side it'll be better go we'll have some sort of shelter at least we obviously don't want the cows to come in here if you put three cows in here for about five hours they would have poop and pee everywhere and be totally ruined but you could probably put 30 calves in here. They could be in there a week and it wouldn't start even getting stanky yet. They got some thick bedding. And I'm sure they'll find it later today. They're pretty adventurous. Never seen that hammer before. issues you know that heifer that dad pulled the calf that was backwards she's just not interested in the calf didn't lick it off at all and that's just what happens when you pull a calf sometimes they just don't care they get confused so dad's milking the cow so we can get some colostrum in that calf get it up and energized hopefully through that calf being hungry and working on that cow you know trying to suck on a teat she'll, she'll realize that she's a mom and most of the time they figure it out you just got to give them time she got the small teat. Yeah. So drink. So we got some colostrum in that calf. We'll keep him warming up. Kick the mom outside to eat some hay. We're gonna start cleaning this building. It's a mess. Are you guys getting sick of the barn cleaning videos? You do do it every week. Part of life, part of cabin and barns, you gotta clean them. How you doing? You poor thing. Nobody licked you off. Nice and warm though. Got some milk in it. Don't think it's stood yet. Hey. You all right? Little guy's able to hold himself up, just not walk yet. He's just a couple hours behind everybody else, that's all right. Oh, he's trying. Anyway, it's gonna get really dusty in here when I shoot that bedding in. So I'm gonna set that calf right in the sun, right on this bedding. Hopefully when I'm done with that, I come out here and he's a mile away, cause he's up and running. He's made it about three feet. If you 
cows out over here. They're gonna remember this day. It was one of the most exciting ones. Ran out of a gate, ate on a bale. Ew. All right, go be a mother. This girl's gonna be calving. She already got an attitude like she done it already. 9.03. She got a big bag. She's off by herself. Got her tail up. These are all pretty big signs she's gonna be calving. I don't know why she wants to do it in that snowbank. So dad is back. We're gonna get that cow that's thinking about calving. Get her up in the barn. And then I think we'll get some lunch. I don't even know what time it is. Probably two o'clock. We got, we got a few issues to take care of today. Anyway, let's get this cow up. She's gonna be calving here really soon. The cow's got some legs sticking out of her already. We saw a cow that needed up and we got it up and I can see this cow that we were watching. She just had the calf. So we're gonna switch gears, get the sled and pull that pair up. Back when we first started using this, we take these hooks and we go like that on that rope and we go like this. That didn't hold her crap. Just tie a knot in her. Obviously we want a cab in the buildings, but sometimes you just miss one. Alright. It's a good mama. Other than cabin in a mud hole, but you know, there's not too much else out here besides a mud hole. Obviously more so our fault for not getting her in the barn, but we got her now. Forgot the iodine and the optimizer from this morning out here. Now you could say once I saw that she was gonna calve, should have got her up right away. That's certainly one option, we've done that before. And then sometimes you rile that critter up so much, you end up having to get her in and pull the calf. And so I have a tough time when I see something outside. It's just luck of the draw. If it would have been better to just let her calf out there and do it on her own and then get the calf up. A lot of catch 22s in this business is what I'm saying. get a big pile of manure. Dad's spreading that last load. He should be back pretty soon. Getting close to three o'clock. I missed lunch. Don't do that very often. Sure is a nice day. Look at all these dry spots over here. Well, Dad's just pulling up. We'll get her backed up over here. And then he's actually gonna take off. He bought a bale feeder because we got tons of them that are just getting real bad. So he's gonna go pick that up. It's gonna rain tomorrow and then freeze. And that's another reason why we're cleaning both these buildings other than they're both dirty. But we got a rain coming tomorrow. Just seems like we're tackling a lot of stuff all in one day. It's the song of the day you ask? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I hope I haven't done this one before. It's by Poison and it's called Talk Dirty to Me. Now Cole, you might ask, Dad. Dad. What's your what's your explanation, explanation of talking of dirty talking to someone? Dirty to someone. Well first off, Cole, thank you for that question. You're welcome. It would be mud. And then poop. And if you press me for a third idea, I would say that lint that get stuck in your belly button is also dirty yeah okay yeah well it's not clean i reckon so that's the song of the day and a little bit of color commentary by cole thanks cole you're welcome okay we got a christmas miracle going on the calf is standing no if only somebody would love it and let it suck a little weak in the front knees ain't he mm -hmm. oh and that one's standing up too that we just brought in from outside good deal Okay.
got one heifer left to calve. Isn't that wild? And there's about 30 more cows to go. So we're getting there. We're ready for the inclement weather. They're talking sleet, rain, snow. Next two or three days, we're ready for it, folks. Looks wide enough. Yep. They're gonna be able to reach it. We'll show you in a minute why we needed to go and buy a new one of these. So we're gonna go bring this over. You can see dad's got two bales on there. Feed the cows over here. Just right off the bat, you can see tons of waste right here. It's cause this their big blowout. Look at this big old blowout right here. Now I repaired it. You can see I did all that over there, but they just put their front hooves up here and just rip it off. So yeah, it was time. It was time to get a little upgrade. Hopefully we don't dent it too much on the first day. Well folks, it's a long day, and although I had lunch at three o'clock, it's almost supper time, so we gotta get going. Thanks for watching everybody, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time, have a good one. Just clean that.